Hello students. In this video, we will discuss the isometric projection of combination of three solids. So, in this question, there are three solids. One is cylinder. Above a cylinder, a cube is resting, and above that cube, a square pyramid is resting. Let us read out the question. A cylindrical slab. Of 50 mm in diameter and 45 thick is surmounted by a cube of 30 mm. So for the cylinder, the base diameter is equal to 50 mm, height is equal to 45, and above this a cube is placed of 30 mm edge. A square pyramid of altitude 45 mm and side of base 20 mm. rests on the top of a cube with the side of its base parallel to the side of the cube so the base it is a square pyramid basically okay the base edges are parallel to the base edges or of the top edges of the cube so we have to place it accordingly the axes of the solids are collinear so all the solids are placed centrally one above the other draw the isometric view right so let us start drawing let us draw the cylinder first so base diameter is equal to 50 mm and height is equal to 45 mm let us move to the autocad let us draw the cylinder first So go to ellipse command. This is ellipse command. Go to axis and end. So go to iso circle. Change the iso plane. Press F5. Make it iso plane top. Let us say this is the center of the circle. Okay. The diameter. Of the circle, base circle is equal to 50 mm. Press enter. Right. Then I need to draw the same circle at the top also. So from the center, I'll draw a line of 45 mm. Whatever height is there, height is equal to 45. Right, 45 and press enter. Right. So after this, I'll copy the circle. Go to copy command. Take this as the base point. Place it over here. Right. Then let us draw two tangents. Click over here, and then click over here. Click over here, and so this is the cylinder. So above a cylinder, a cube of thirty mm edge is placed centrally. So let us mark the center first. This is the center. change the orientation f5 f5 so since the side of the cube is equal to 30 mm so i'll draw a line of 15 mm in this direction and 15 mm in this direction similarly 15 mm in this direction And fifteen mm in the other direction, right? So after this, we will copy this line. Go to copy command. Take this as the base point. Place it over here and place it over here. 
similarly this also copy command take this as the base point place it over here and place it over here right so this is the base of the cube let us delete these extra lines right you can delete the center also After this, let us go to line command, F5, so it is 30, 30, so it is 30 mm again towards the top. Thirty. Click over here and join these two. So here also you have these lines which can be drawn as hidden. So we'll do this afterwards. So if you want to draw these as hidden, it is okay. Otherwise, you can trim these also. So after this, a square pyramid it is placed on the top of this cube. So it is better we can just trim these TR press enter twice trim this also and trim this also similarly you can trim this also So we have to place a square pyramid which is resting centrally this is the center click over here now the base of the square pyramid is equal to 20 mm and height is equal to 45 mm so if it is equal to 20 mm f5 so 10 mm in this direction press f8 10 mm in the other direction similarly 10 mm is equal to 10 mm again. Select these two lines, copy command, take this as the base point, paste it over here, paste it over here. Turn off ortho mode. Copy command. Take this as the base point. Place it over here and place it over here. Right, so you can delete these lines, extra lines. So we have drawn the base of the square pyramid. Now let us draw the height. Go to line command, take this as the base point, F8, press F5 to change the isoplane, so this is equal to 45 mm, 
Now turn off ortho mode. Join this apex with all the corners. Line command. Click over here and click over here. Right. So here also, if you want to delete or trim these lines, you can trim. Or you want to draw these as hidden line, that also it is okay. You can trim these. Let us select the whole figure. Increase the line weight. Make this equal to 0 0.60. Let us suppose. Then let us do the dimensioning. Linear dimensioning. This is equal to 45. This is equal to 30. In the height of the cylinder, it is equal to 45 again. Aligned dimensioning. The base edges of the square pyramid are equal to 20 mm. Let us write the diameter. So for this I will go to multi leader command. Click on this multi leader. Click over here. And then just click over here. And go to symbol. Click on diameter. So phi 50. Increase the size. Make it equal to 4. This is it. Then dim edit. Go to oblique. Select these. All the dimensions. 45, 30 and 45. Press enter. Then the angle is equal to 30 degree. Next is for this, go to dim edit again, press enter and let the oblique angle be equal to 90 degree for this. This is okay. So this is the solution to this question. So I suppose this is clear to you. Thank you very much.